that's the idea. That's behind all of this brewing. I'm taking the exam at the end of the year, actually. I mm -hmm. haven't told you boys yet, but... Certified? <clears throat> yeah, certified. Brilliant. Your turn. Okay. okay. So this is another one of the homebrew challenge beers, mate. This is a brown IPA. Mm -hmm. I don't know what number that is. 21 something. <laughs> <laughs> it's tw uh, 21 it's 21 B but it's actually 21 E brown IPA gotcha so what we've got a brown IPA is basically an American IPA mm -hmm. uh, but brown just like a black IPA is supposed to be an American IPA but black we should have little little bits of biscuit little bits of you know uh, maybe small amounts of coffee but you know that um, that dark biscuit, um, you know, bre brown owl kind of notes. Yep. But as an American IPA, so we should have some hop still come through. Yeah. Uh, and it should still taste like an IPA. Yeah. So like very much so, still in IPA land. It's just perhaps deviating as the specialty IPAs do in one direction without going all yeah. the way. Right. So so the example that we thought we thought would be the most common or most like this was the Big Shed uh, Franken Brown. Right. But according to the style, they've actually, that, theirs is actually an American Brown Ale, not an American Brown IPA. Right. But to style, that's probably even too malty, mm -hmm. too, you know, too much coffee, roast, uh, all those flavours. Yeah. Um, to be called an American Brown IPA. Yeah. Um. Now this is actually not my recipe, <laughs> so no, I'm, that's alright. It's not mine either. So uh, not super sure it's in it. But f first thing we get on the nose is those lovely, like it's not dank uh, hops. It's those more citrus, mm. fruity hops. And I reckon everyone that I've served this to is like, "What is a brown IPA?" Who are you know craft beer drinkers and have drank an IPA, and I poured it for them, and I've watched their eyes as it's coming out of the tap at this brown thing coming out, and then watching them drink it. And just seeing they're like, oh wait, that's uh, that's not what I was expecting it to be. No, yeah. no. And this is this isn't like any other beer that I've, I've probably had commercially either. Again, mm. the closest closest uh, commercial equivalent is the Franken Brown, the Big Shed yeah. Franken Brown, but that has less hop, uh, which yeah. is still a surprise, and more of that malt character and the dark malt character. Yeah. And, uh, so by the way, that was a that was I'm guessing a uh, bottle conditioned beer. That poured How really well, and that, that yeah. head and the carbonation is really, really holding up. Mm -hmm. So this this beer is a um, it's a six point two percent ABV beer, Jesus, with a, a <laughs> roughly a sixty IBU. Um, yep. Oh wow. Uh, OG of ten sixty two, uh, FG of ten fourteen. Um, Parallel malt, some light crystal, and some German Carafa 2. Carafa 2 is obviously that, you know, that roastiness that we've got coming through for the colour. Yeah. Uh, and that crystal malt really comes through with that caramel. We still got a little bit of biscuit though. I don't know. That must, Man, that I, must be from the Carafa. I haven't seen this recipe for a while. I thought I was expecting to see like six or seven different malts in that. No, that's really that's, that's really, really simple, cool. isn't it? Yeah. Wow. And. Saying about fruitiness and citrus, we got Citra, Amarillo, and Willamette are the right. three hops that we've used yeah. uh, to create this beer. Uh, and we've finished it off with some Danstar Nottingham Ale yeast. Now, that right. Danstar uh, Nottingham Ale uh, actually commonly used for Nipahs and stuff as yeah. well. So, uh, was that low flocculating? Uh, it's supposed to be, yeah. yeah. As in, you want something that's going to come out of like yeah, orange juice. Yeah, so, leave yeah. some haze in there, but um, it's, it's, it tastes really well attenu attenuated. Um, no yeast flavours or aromas whatsoever. Mm. It is dominated by hops. And <clears throat> probably th that's testament to it being an IPA is mm. that even though it's dark in colour like this, yeah. I don't get a lot on the nose by means of malt. No. Um, bitterness is really mild or, or, or accompanied yeah, by this back yeah when you said 60 IBU I was like oh maybe but yeah like, like it's there dry hop it as well yeah it's the bitterness is like middle of the mouth you know how sometimes that bitterness gives you that face that you go yeah this this doesn't you, you get you do get a little bit at the start but it's it's a lot of a lot of malt backbone here like that kind of really yeah. those are the ones like 
when you do make the bitterness face, it's because it's got nothing else to help it. Whereas this is like, you cop it at the start, you're like, oh, oh, and then you get the other stuff. Yeah. As well, so it's. And, and I find I don't know about you, but the the flavour as well. There's not heaps of hop flavour. That it's a lot of aroma. Like, mm. so I'm guessing there was a heavyish dry hop. I didn't really check yeah. that. Um, so, so in terms of uh, the BJCP guidelines, this is this this to me is a really good example of what yeah. what, what should be a brown IPA. Um, I think we had done this after we'd done the black IPA as well, and yeah. as we said before, like we we're getting hot on like trying to nail the style for what, for what it is, and yeah. we're like, all right, so we're pretty much making an IPA, and we're just gonna get it brown. Uh, yeah, and, yeah, with some mm. with some some subtle notes of yeah, and that's where I think the caramel, like that crystal malt he's put in, really gives that caramelliness of an IPA. Yeah, and that that little bit of carafa has given it the color, but hasn't like hasn't dominated. Dominate, it's yeah. it's not really dominant. Yeah, just so got a he had a big whirlpool and a smallish dry hop. So and yeah, pretty most of the wow. Yeah, it's all some early edition, but most of it coming towards end of the boil. It's surprising that the sixty mm. really doesn't come through. No. So bitterness, bitterness is actually quite mild for an IPA. It's really yeah. approachable. This would be a really good gateway beer to these darker, weirder styles. I think as well. Yeah, because. I feel it becomes dangerous territory when you do get to those, you know, dark, bitter beers that are like your Imperial Stouts or like your American Brown Ales or your... It's like drinking burnt toast kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, according to what we're supposed to get, this is... Pretty good. It's not bad. It's not bad. So, to, to, kind of, to kind of wrap up, this is this is another one of our Homebrew Challenge beers uh, that Luke's knocked off. Mm -hmm. We're doing uh, 120 different... All the, all the 120 styles yep. as defined by the BJCP we've got 40 each to do and um, we kind of uh, we started out with me kind of drinking my own and then I think yep. that was just convenience yep. but I like this that we taste each oh, other's and then yeah. talk about it because you, you're always going to know what it's supposed to be and supposed to taste like when it's your beer yep. because you've had to do the research but if you're tasting someone else's and you give the notes yeah. you can kind of go well this is yeah. what I'm getting is this what yeah. The style sets. And yeah, this is. It's a, it's a really good beer. And I remember doing this with the podcast and going, fucking, this is this is a, mm. a good beer. Like, mm. And Luke has come from, um, he won't mind me saying this, yeah. from an extract, you know, whatever oh, yeah. kind of brewer, to, to brew on some really mm. quality shit. Oh, he, he was very apprehensive too about getting to the brewing for some reason at the start. So I'm, I'm very glad that he has. Yeah. It's like you and I, though, like, why did it take us so long to get into it? We've loved beer for... Years. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Honestly. It's one of those, we think about that a bit, but... Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, make sure you, you know, you give us a bit of a follow and a, and a like and do all of that yeah. good shit. You'll share this recipe. All, all the recipe links will be down below in the, yep. in the descriptions. Uh, we've got the website up and running. I... I'm, I'm, I'm a bit hit and miss with the, the website. Sometimes it's wicked and you've got the whole recipe and links yep. and, and videos and then other times there is a big error 404. So, um, <laughs> hit us up Instagram, you know, YouTube, all of that shit and, you know, we will yep. keep putting out these these uh, videos with the recipes that we do. Um, getting through all 120 styles, mate. What do you reckon? Sounds good. Okay.